Auxiliary Services in School Districts. This is Module 7, EDSU 7321. Auxiliary services include food or child nutrition, safety, security, and transportation. Child nutrition has been federally funded since 1946 and is administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Programs include school lunch, school breakfast, summer food service, and after-school snacks and meals. The Federal Child Nutrition Program website offers more information on the federally funded Child Nutrition Program. Eligibility guidelines for the Child Nutrition Program are based on income. This is a reimbursement program. Schools will be reimbursed at the current rate if they follow all guidelines. See Table 7.1 for sample meal patterns. Schools who do not follow the guidelines can be fined. There are also guidelines for competitive foods or foods that are sold in other parts of the school building. Safety and security. The American Association for School Administrators, AASA, recommends a balanced approach that combines awareness, update your policies and share with parents, and know the warning signs of threats, balance, using various approaches to reducing risk and keeping stakeholders informed, and control, secure the learning environment. National Center for Safe Routes to School has information on how walking and riding a bike to school can be made safe. The physical campus includes the structure of the building and who gets in and out. Design of school buildings to provide secure entryways, cameras, and communication systems is another way to provide safety and security. The school climate also contributes to a safe and secure environment. Here is some data on school crime from the National Center for Education Statistics. The Texas School Safety Center at Texas State University provides information and help with crisis management plans, as well as other resources. There is a short video overview of what the Texas School Safety Center does. Everything involves money in some way. Here are a few related to safety and security. Securing the entries into the building using cameras where appropriate, lighting, smoke detectors, etc. School resource officers, security for extracurricular events. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, a yellow school bus is the safest way for children to get to and home from school. 70 times safer than walking, riding a bicycle, or riding in a car or light truck with an adult driver. Transportation is funded through a transportation allotment in Texas. See the Texas Transportation Guidelines at the above link. Transportation is only required for special education students and Section 504 students who would not be able to attend school without school provided transportation. Eligible transportation in Texas. Students who live two or more miles from the student's campus of regular attendance, live in a hazardous traffic or high risk of violence area within two miles of the student's campus, are transported to or from a grandparent's home with other requirements, are transported to or from a state recognized child care facility, are homeless. 
For a look at the advantages of contracted versus district-owned transportation, see Table 7.3. Everything involves money, child nutrition, safety, security, and transportation.